welcome children and families to this time of worship, learning, and exploration. We are happy you are here with us. Prepare your space to be present today. Clear your mind and space of distractions and take a deep, welcoming breath, finding your calm center. Welcome to this time of worship. This space is created for you. However you come, whomever you are, however you feel, you are welcome here. If you have one, light a candle safely with me. Invite the light into your hearts and let the light fill your space as a reminder of God's love and that it is always here for you. Amen. As we close our time together today in our second gratitude lesson that we've come together to enjoy, I invite you to pray in whatever way feels comfortable for you. You can pray with your hands together, your hands up in the air, laying down, standing up, dancing, eyes open, eyes closed, shouting, or words in your head or in your heart. Let us pray. Creator God, thank you for giving us the opportunity to come together and recognize all of the blessings and gifts that we have in our lives. Thank you for bringing the leaders together who have brought these services to the children and thank you to the children who participate in them. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to say thank you, God. The greatest single prayer that one could say, thank you, God, for the rich blessings in our lives and for giving us the opportunity to share those blessings with others. Let us be more cognizant of the people around us and offer our blessings out into the world just as you have given them to us and how you have guided us to. May we go from this place with grateful hearts and hopeful anticipation of the wonderful things that we can share about you in this world. Amen. Ten Men Healed Jesus was walking toward Jerusalem. As he neared the village, two scared faces popped up from behind the branches of a nearby tree. Three more sad faces peeked out from behind a giant rock. Jesus looked into the distance. Five more frightened faces stared out from behind a large leafy plant. Ten faces, each covered with red bumpy spots. Ten men, some missing their fingers and toes, tried to warn Jesus. Stay away! Leprosy! Keep your distance! Another warned. Jesus knew the men were sick. He felt sad for them. Jesus, can you heal us? Go! Show yourselves to the priests, Jesus said. The men stood up and started walking into town. Suddenly, they stopped. Look, our spots are gone. Look, my fingers and toes are growing, and my toes are back. Soon, all the men were jumping up and down with joy. The men ran toward Jerusalem. They would show themselves to the priest. They were healed. One man turned back to look at Jesus. He threw himself face down on the dusty road. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you. He said it so loudly that the birds flew up in all directions. Jesus laughed to see the man so happy. But where are the others? Weren't there ten of you? Where are the other nine? Don't they want to praise God too? Jesus asked. The, ma the man did not hear Jesus. He was too busy counting his toes and fingers. Yes, ten of each, just where they should be, Jesus said. Go, you are well. The man jumped up and scurried after his friends. His voice filled the morning. Praise God! He shouted as he ran as fast as his ten toes could carry him. One man stopped to thank Jesus. What are you thankful for? Stop right now and thank God for that gift. Hi. Today we are going to be making a Thanksgiving wreath 
with our gratitude hands. So for materials, you're gonna need a pencil and some different colors of paper. I really like autumn colors, but you can use any color of the rainbow for your Thanksgiving wreath. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, um, we're gonna trace our hands and cut them out. And you can go around and sucker members of your family into helping you to give their hands to contribute to your wreath. And then we're gonna write some names on it. So now we're gonna do tape, if you can put your hand there. No, not the scissors. So you're gonna trace your hands, or your mom and dad's, or your grandma's, or your brother's, or your babysitter, whoever you can wrangle into helping you with this. All right? Okay, and then you're gonna take your scissors. This is difficult because it fits through my fingers. Okay, just do that. I'll do mine. I like orange. And I'm gonna trace my hand here. They have pre wrapped sausages, but they don't have pre wrapped bacon. Can you blame them? Yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to cut it out. Once you have your hands cut out into different colors, you're going to take them and you're going to write the names of people in your life or people that you like. So you can put, I'm thankful for Grandma, I'm thankful for Reverend Tracy, whoever you want to put on your hands, and maybe your mom or your dad or a big brother or sister can help you write down the names if you're not so good with your pens right now. Then, the last thing you're going to need is you can either use another piece of paper and you can cut a circle, or, like I did, you can use a paper plate. And then you just need to make a little hole in, at the top of it, because we're gonna, we might put some string. Might not, if you don't want to hang it, if you just want to have it on your table, but you're gonna need a hole. Okay on our plate or piece of paper. You can write your own Thanksgiving message in the middle. We are going to make our hands. And we're gonna to try to make it different colors all the way around. But if you, you have, but if you run out of colors, you can just do like, like you a can, pattern. You could also make some little pine cone things in the middle and make it really fancy. Or actually just a uh, or actually just skin pine cones and then use those shreds to sprinkle like, it on top with No, glue. like glue, glue them. Okay, like careful. Circle, like a spiral. You could use a glue, uh, glue stick, but my glue stick wasn't really working that well, so I am using glue glue. We didn't have glue glue on my glue stick. Well, we, we do have, have a glue gun. Have well, we do have a glue gun. Oh, it's working out perfectly for the size of our hands. And then we'll need a piece of string to hang it, I think. I don't have the string. I will put a list of all the things that you might want to have at the beginning of this video. Maybe just take a picture of the list. Oh, got it. All right. Hopefully that stays while it's drying. Oh, you then. Oh, ow. sorry. Be very careful with scissors. And then we're gonna put some string through it and hang it on our door. And there's our wreath. And it kind of looks like a turkey. A turkey face. Kind of like a turkey da -da! face. With all the names of the people that you're thankful for. Well, so looks I hope everyone has a happy Thanksgiving, right? Mm -hmm. Happy Thanksgiving! Or maybe, or maybe it more it looks more okay. like a cog <coughs> wheel. If I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, while I'd buy you a house, I would buy. Ready? Yeah. Love life, home friends. <laughs> One, two, ready? Yeah. Ready.